Uh, hello there and uh, welcome to my new video. So in this video I want to show you how to implement uh, and uh, use uh, view binding. So if you are wondering what is uh, view binding, so it is a feature that allows you to replace find view by ID in most cases. Uh, once view binding is enabled in a module, it uh, generates a binding class for each XML layout file present in that module. For example, if you have an XML file, uh, XML layout file uh, named activity main, view binding will automatically generate activity main binding class for you. So uh, if you have uh, more activities, then uh, view binding will uh, create a new class uh, for each of those uh, activity layout file. And the uh, instance of this binding class uh, will contain direct references to all views that uh, have an ID in the corresponding layout. So uh, what are the main advantages of uh, using uh, view binding? Well, there are two of them, uh, null safety and type safety. Uh, so null safety means that uh, there is no risk of a null pointer exception. And type safety means that uh, the fields in each binding class uh, have types matching the views they uh, reference in an XML file. So uh, now I'm going to show you how to implement and use uh, view binding. So first open up a Gradle build uh, module application file and here inside this Android tag uh, you need to say uh, view binding and inside the brackets you need to type uh, enabled equal to true. Okay, so sync the project. So now uh, head over to uh, main activity and uh, here uh, we are going to type uh, activity main and you will see that a new class appeared here. Uh, you see activity main binding. So this is the class with uh, which uh, view binding uh, uh, generated by itself. So for each uh, the activity layout file uh, there will be a corresponding uh, new class uh, with this uh, suffix uh, binding. So for our activity main, main uh, XML file, we get this activity main binding class. And now let's uh, use that. So uh, now type binding. And as you can see, we have new import here. So basically, uh, we have imported this uh, data binding dot activity main binding. Okay, and now inside the on create method, uh, we're going to use this uh, binding object and uh, use uh, inflate and in the brackets type uh, get layout inflator. And then we're going to create a view object and uh, now we're going to get the reference to our uh, root uh, layout uh, uh, file. So from our activity main layout we're going to get this constraint layout which is the root element. Okay. And then we're going to use a set content uh, view and we're going to pass uh, the view. And we can remove this uh, content view uh, from above. We don't need that uh, at the moment. Okay, and here we're going to use this binding object and when we uh, uh, add this dot, uh, the new uh, views will appear. So we have a text view and a button. So those are the exact, exact same uh, views we have in our layout. So when we change the ID and when we type here uh, again, as you can see, the new ID will uh, update as well. So you just uh, select this uh, object and you can add for example on click listener and uh, stuff like that so basically it's the same uh, as before and uh, with just some upgrade that we don't need to use a uh, view by uh, find view by id on each and every view inside our uh, activity main uh, layout file and uh, that's pretty much it so uh, in this video uh, you saw uh, how to implement uh, view binding inside activity and uh, when it comes to fragments uh, there is one uh, main difference. So uh, in fragment uh, you need to override this on destroy view uh, method and you need to set the binding to null. And uh, if you are wondering why, well uh, fragments outlive their views and you need to make sure to clean up all the references. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one.